Good morning, Karen. Good morning, Pam and Bob. We'll wait a couple of seconds for more folks to join us. Morning, Wendy. Good morning, Julie and Pete. Happy Friday to you, Kathy. <clears throat> All right, let us begin morning prayer for this Friday, October 30. The Lord is in his holy temple. Let all the earth keep silence before him. Dearly beloved, we have come together in the presence of almighty God, our heavenly father to set forth his praise to hear his holy word and to ask for ourselves and on behalf of others, those things that are necessary for our life and our salvation. And so that we may prepare ourselves in heart and mind to worship him, let us kneel in silence and with penitent and obedient hearts confess our sins that we may obtain forgiveness by his infinite goodness and mercy. Most merciful God, we confess that we have sinned against you in thought, word, and deed, by what we have done and by what we have left undone. We have not loved you with our whole heart, we have not loved our neighbors as ourselves. We are truly sorry and we humbly repent. For the sake of your son, Jesus Christ, have mercy on us and forgive us that we may delight in your will and walk in your ways to the glory of your name, amen. Almighty God, have mercy on us, forgive us all our sins through our Lord Jesus Christ. Strengthen us in all goodness and by the power of the Holy Spirit, keep us in eternal life. Amen. Lord, open our lips and our mouth shall proclaim your praise. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Hallelujah. The mercy of the Lord is everlasting. Come, let us adore him. Continuing with the Venite. Come, let us sing to the Lord. Let us shout for joy to the rock of our salvation. Let us come before his presence with thanksgiving and raise a loud shout to him with psalms. For the Lord is a great God and a great King above all gods. In his hand are the caverns of the earth and the heights of the hills are his also. The sea is his for he made it and his hands have molded the dry land. Come, let us bow down and bend the knee and kneel before the Lord, our maker. For he is our God, and we are the people of his pasture and the sheep of his hand. Oh, that today you would hearken to his voice. The mercy of the Lord is everlasting. 
Come, let us adore him. Continuing with the psalm appointed for today. I waited patiently upon the Lord. He stooped to me and heard my cry. He lifted me out of the des desolate pit, out of the mire and clay. He set my feet upon a high cliff and made my footing sure. He put a new song in my mouth, a song of praise to our God. Many shall see and stand in awe and put their trust in the Lord. Happy are they who trust in the Lord. They do not resort to evil spirits or turn to false gods. Great things are they that you have done, O Lord, my God. How great your wonders and your plans for us. There is none who can be compared with you. Oh, that I could make them known and tell them, but they are more than I can count. In sacrifice and offering, you take no pleasure. You have given me ears to hear you. Burnt offering and sin offering you have not required. And so I said, behold, I come. In the roll of the book, it is written concerning me. I love to do your will, O God. Your law is deep in my heart. I proclaimed righteousness in the great congregation. Behold, I did not restrain my lips. And that, O Lord, you know. Your righteousness have I not hidden in my heart. I have spoken of your faithfulness and your deliverance. I have not concealed your love and faithfulness from the great congregation. You are the Lord. Do not withhold your compassion from me. Let your love and your faithfulness keep me safe forever. For innumerable troubles have crowded upon me. My sins have overtaken me, and I cannot see. They are more in number than the hairs of my head, and my heart fails me. Be pleased, O Lord, to deliver me. O Lord, make haste to help me. Let them be ashamed and altogether dismayed, who seek after my life to destroy it. Let them draw back and be disgraced, who take pleasure in my misfortune. Let those who say, aha, and gloat over me be confounded, because they are ashamed. Let all who seek you rejoice in you and be glad. Let those who love your salvation continually say, great is the Lord. Though I am poor and afflicted, the Lord will have regard for me. You are my helper and my deliverer. Do not tarry, O oh my God. Save me, O oh God, by your name. In your might, defend my cause. Hear my prayer, O oh God. Give ear to the word of my mouth. For the arrogant have risen up against me, and the ruthless have sought my life those who have no regard for God. Behold, God is my helper. It is the Lord who sustains my life. Render evil to those who spy on me. In your faithfulness, destroy them. I will offer you a free will sacrifice and praise your name, O Lord, for it is good. For you have rescued me from every trouble. And my eye has seen the ruin of my foes. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. A reading from Sirach. The senseless have vain and false hopes, and dreams give wings to fools, as one who catches a sh at a shadow and pursues the wind. So is anyone who believes in dreams, 
What is seen in dreams is but a reflection, the likeness of a face looking at itself. From an unclean thing, what can be clean? And from something false, what can be true? Divinations and omens and dreams are unreal. And like a woman in labor, the mind has fantasies, unless they are sent by intervention from the Most High. Pay no attention to them. For dreams have deceived many, and those who put their hope in them have perished. Without such deceptions, the law will be fulfilled, and wisdom is complete in the mouth of the faithful. To whom does he look, and who is his support? The eyes of the Lord are on those who love him, a mighty shield and strong support, a shelter from scorching wind and a shade from noonday sun, a guard against stumbling, and a help against falling. He lifts up the soul and makes the eyes sparkle. He gives health and life and blessing. If one sacrifices ill-gotten goods, the offering is blemished. The gifts of the lawless are not acceptable. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Continuing with a song of praise. Glory to you, Lord God of our fathers. You are worthy of praise. Glory to you. Glory to you for the radiance of your holy name. We will praise you and highly exalt you forever. Glory to you in the splendor of your temple, on the throne of your majesty, glory to you. Glory to you seated between the cherubim. We will praise you and highly exalt you forever. Glory to you beholding the depths in the high vault of heaven, glory to you. Glory to you, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. We will praise you and highly exalt you forever. A reading from the Gospel according to St. Luke. Someone in the crowd said to Jesus, Teacher, tell my brother to divide the family inheritance with me. But he said to him, Friend, who set me to be a judge or arbitrator over you? And he said to them, Take care. Be on your guard against all kinds of greed. For one's life does not consist in the abundance of possessions. Then he told them a parable. The land of a rich man produced abundantly. And he thought to himself, what should I do? For I have no place to store my crops. Then he said, I will do this. I will pull down my barns and build larger ones. And there I will store all my grain and my goods. And I will say to my soul, Soul, you have ample goods laid up for many years. Relax, eat, drink, be merry. But God said to him, you fool, this very night your life is being demanded of you, and the things you have prepared, whose will they be? So it is with those who store up treasures for themselves, but are not rich towards God. He said to his disciples, therefore I tell you, do not worry about your life, what you will eat, or about your body, what you will wear. For life is more than food, and the body more than clothing. Consider the ravens, they neither sow nor reap. They have neither storehouse nor barn, and yet God feeds them. Of how much more value are you than the birds? And can any of you, by worrying, add a single hour to your span of life? If then you are not able to do so small a thing as that, why do you worry about the rest? Consider the lilies, how they grow. They neither toil nor spin. Yet I tell you, even Solomon in all his glory was not clothed like one of these. 
But if God so clothes the grass of the field, which is alive today and tomorrow is thrown into the oven, how much more will he clothe you, you of little faith? And do not keep striving for what you are to eat and what you are to drink. And do not keep worrying, for it is the nations of the world that strive after all these things. And your father knows that you need them. Instead, strive for his kingdom, and these things will be given to you as well. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Continuing with a song to the Lamb. Splendor and honor and kingly power are yours by right, O Lord our God. For you created everything that is, and by your will they were created and have their being. And yours by right, O Lamb that was slain. For with your blood you have redeemed for God from every family, language, people, and nation a kingdom of priests to serve our God. And so, to him who sits upon the throne and to Christ the Lamb, be worship and praise and dominion and splendor forever and evermore. Now let us confess our faith together in the words of the Apostles' Creed. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord. He was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day, he rose again. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. The Lord be with you, and also with you, let us pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Continuing with suffrages A. Show us your mercy, O Lord, and grant us your salvation. Clothe your ministers with righteousness. Let your people sing with joy. Give peace, O Lord, in all the world, for only in you can we live in safety. Lord, keep this nation under your care and guide us in the way of justice and truth. Let your way be known upon earth, your saving health among all nations. Let not the needy, O Lord, be forgotten, nor the hope of the poor be taken away. Create in us clean hearts, O God, and sustain us with your Holy Spirit. Almighty and everlasting God, increase in us the gifts of faith, hope, and charity that we may obtain what you promise. Make us love what you command through Jesus Christ, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Almighty God, whose most dear son went not up to joy, but first he suffered pain and entered not into glory before he was crucified, mercifully grant that we, walking in the way of the cross, may find it none other than the way of life and peace. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. 
Almighty and eternal God, so draw our hearts to you, so guide our minds, so fill our imaginations, so control our wills, that we may be wholly yours, utterly dedicated to you, and then use us, we pray, as you will, and always to your glory and the welfare of your people, through, through our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. We pray for our brothers and sisters in Christ, and particularly those throughout the Anglican Communion, remembering today especially the Diocese of Rio de Janeiro, the Right Reverend Eduardo Brio Bishop, the Diocese of Davo, Philippines, the Right Reverend Jonathan Casamina, the Diocese of Rio Grande, the Right Reverend Michael Vono Bishop. The Diocese of Delaware, the Right Reverend Kevin Brown. And the Diocese of Kurangala, the Right Reverend Keith Desiri Fernando. We pray also for our Diocese of Southeast Florida and our Bishop the Right Reverend Peter Eaton, and the Episcopal Church, the Most Reverend Michael B. Curry, Presiding Bishop and Primate. Lord Jesus Christ, you stretched out your arms of love on the hard wood of the cross that everyone might come within the reach of your saving embrace. So clothe us in your spirit that we, reaching forth our hands in love may bring those who do not know you to the knowledge and love of you for the honor of your name. Amen. We also pray for our own parish family and those dear to them, remembering today especially Marie, Carlos, Lisa, Nancy, Carol, Jackie, Arnie, Tammy, Alden and family, Amanda, Brian and family, Howard, Catherine, Shannon, Bob and Audrey, Rob, Carolyn, Roger, Phil, Dennis, Sean, Marie, Keith, Patricia, Grace, Lori, Karen, Wendy, and Mirabel. Almighty and everlasting God, make our parish of Good Shepherd truly a community of prayer and belonging. Raise up in our midst the resources and leadership which will enable us to act upon what you would have us do in this place and in a ministry of love and concern for others. Open my mind and heart to discern what you would have me do. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. And at this time, we invite your prayers and petitions, intercessions, thanksgivings that you would like to offer, either silently or aloud. Pray for the security of the upcoming election. Uh, many, uh, may as many as wish to vote be able to do so and may all accept the results once all votes are tallied. I lift up special prayers for my oldest son, Jeremiah, and his wife, Sarah, as they gave birth to their firstborn yesterday morning at 4.30 in the morning. Uh, the infant is having trouble breathing and is being taken care of. We pray that God continues to be with them and be with the new baby. Prayers for safety in all of South Florida next week. We continue to pray for our parish family, our community of faith and all of our uh, friends uh, that worship together that God would continue to lead and guide and direct our leadership 
have us do all that he would have us to do. We also continue to lift up our youth and all students uh, at the Good Shepherd School and other schools throughout South Florida. We pray for all those that have been impacted by the recent hurricane in the Gulf, and as it continues to move its way eastward throughout the southeastern states, may God be with all of those people. Continuing with the general thanksgiving. Almighty God, Father of all mercies, we, your unworthy servants, give you humble thanks for all your goodness and loving kindness to us and to all whom you have made. We bless you for our creation, preservation, and all the blessings of this life, but above all for your immeasurable love in the redemption of the world by our Lord Jesus Christ for the means of grace and for the hope of glory. And we pray, give us such an awareness of your mercies that with truly thankful hearts, we may show forth your praise, not only with our lips, but in our lives by giving up ourselves to your service and by walking before you in holiness and righteousness all our days. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord, to whom with you and the Holy Spirit, be honor and glory throughout all ages. Amen. Almighty God, you have given us grace at this time with one accord to make our common supplication to you. And you have promised through your well-beloved son that when two or three are gathered together in his name, you will be in the midst of them. Fulfill now, O Lord, our desires and petitions as may be best for us, granting us in this world knowledge of your truth, and in the age to come, life everlasting. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. May the God of hope fill us with all joy and peace in believing through the power of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Thank you so much for joining us today, and I pray that you have a blessed day and a wonderful weekend. Remember, you can join us uh, this coming Sunday for either in-person worship at Good Shepherd or join in with the live stream. It is All Saints uh, Sunday, and we'll be having a special service that evening as well. Uh, it's so good to see you, and I pray that you'll continue to be blessed by our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Have a wonderful day. We'll see you soon.